today I'm with Don. Don, how old are you? 37. Don, how long have you been out here and lost in the streets of Phoenix? Just about a year now. And I noticed you were out here with your uh, puppies. Yeah, yeah, I got three of them. I got Zahi, Willow, and Dioji, the smallest one over there. Okay, how long have you had them for? Uh, Dioji, actually, I've had about 10 years, surprisingly. He's actually about 14 years old, if you can wow. believe it. Yeah, yeah. And the others I've had right around um, just about five years each, these ones. Okay, so they're like your little buddies, huh? Your friends, partners yeah, out here? Yeah, I had them long before everything kind of went sour, so I, and I don't, I don't, they're a bigger part of my heart than, you know, I can't get rid of them. Like family, I, I huh? Yeah, they're family, you know, and you can't, you can't do that to family, so. What do you, what do you think about the people that say, man, it's, it's really harsh out, out there, you know, out in the streets, it's a hundred and some degrees and the dogs, you know, they're poor doggies, they're out there walking, they're suffering in the heat. What do you, what do you tell those people? I mean, yeah, they are. And, and that, that situation really does suck. It tears at my heart every day. But at the same time, I know how much these dogs love me and I love them and I know how loyal they are to me. And all they care about is, you know, me help making me happy and all they want is my love you know and, and there's no way in the world I could betray that the loyalty the trust the love because I know they're, they're just really good at making the best out of a bad situation yeah I could give them to somebody else yeah I could adopt them out but they don't forget that especially healers I know healers especially don't um, and I, I it, these are my kids I could I couldn't I couldn't do that you know I know I take good enough care of them that you know they're they're just they're living their best life with me because I'm their dad you know what I mean I love them unconditionally so yeah the situation is what it is and it sucks it, it could be better but I also know that I can't betray that trust that they have in me so speaking of that situation how did you end up here uh, well I lost my job um, that's basically the long and the short of it and then it just isn't isn't enough resources for homeless right now and Honestly, we've been disqualified from every program that <laughs> we tried to get in just because I have one too many dogs. Honestly, that's what it's come down to is uh, rehousing programs just kind of cut us out because I have one too many animals and I can't bring myself to get rid of any of them. <laughs> so, uh, so the programs that the city has, the, the state, the government has, they, they, you don't qualify because you have too many dogs, you say? Yeah. That and the programs that are there, they're just so few and far between. But yeah, it, it's come down to as simple as that I have two, I have one too many dogs and that they're, the two are too big. I, the two are big dogs. So we disqualify from those programs. Seems like a silly, silly disqualification, but it is what it is. A lot of people out here, Don, are doing blues. Have you ever tried blues? I have, I have. Um, I actually have, uh, I'm five years sober from H myself. Um, and had a short, short uh, stint with the blues, but um, realized quite fast that uh, being in withdrawal is just one more problem that I don't need out here. <laughs> um, so that ended that really fast. So thankfully, not on those. Um, but it, it is a big epidemic out here. It's huge. It's actually kind of a little bit disgusting how bad it is, but it's, yeah, thankfully not affected by it now. Why do you think uh, it's so prevalent out here in Phoenix? It's just, it's, it's cheap, it's there, it's, um, you know, we're border adjacent, so it's like it's hop, skip, and a jump, and it's here. Um, but it's just, it's, it's so available, and it's so cheap that, yeah, I mean, it's, it's only a matter of time before. <laughs> Does your family know that you're out here? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, my dad, God rest his soul, died uh, about August 19th of last year, so don't have him here anymore. But um, my mom, she's up in Camp Birdie, uh, but you know, there's there's not a lot that she can do to help with it. <laughs> Myself and three dogs, uh, as they're just in a trailer themselves. But um, other than that, no, there's not too much other family. Just my mom, and that's about it. And uh, Don, what does uh, what does your future look like? You and your three uh, doggies here. What? It, well, you know, I can't say for certain, but I do know that we're gonna stick together. That's 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 the for sure thing. Is 
um, I won't abandon them, and they won't abandon me. So at least you know we got each other. So. What type of work were you doing when you were working? Oh, uh, I worked at Circle K, but I've done everything from customer service to general labor to you know um, janitorial. Uh, basically, had a, a hand in most every everything. <laughs> Jack of all trades? Yeah, more or less, yeah. Do you foresee a future where you'll go back to quote unquote normal life? Well, I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, that's, that's what I hope for. I mean, if I didn't, I'd be kind of giving up hope and I can't do that. So, uh, definitely foresee a future where things get back to normal. I mean, I have to. And uh, what has to happen? Like, what do you have to do in order to go get back there? Uh, more or less, just. Uh, it's as simple as having the housing the, um, a place for them to be uh, that's safe during the day so I can go to work that's it's as simple as that you know um, just housing for a little while until I can get a couple paychecks under my wings and then we're good that's all it takes but um yeah it's as simple as that just ha housing for the rugrats while I can go to work because I don't want to give them up. That's 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 the one thing. Is I can't give them up. I won't. So. so just that. That's how much you love them. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> They're all I have in the world, and I'm all they have in the world. And like I said, I won't. I won't betray that trust. So that's just not an option. Uh, other people that I've talked to out here that have uh, pets out here, they tell me that their the pets out here are usually better taken care of than themselves because th they'll make sure that the pets eat before they do oh yeah absolutely absolutely because i mean you can tell w when the animal is well taken care of and when they're not and frankly when you see uh, a homeless person with their animal the first thing you're going to do is look at that animal and kind of judge that person based on how the animal looks how well fed are they how healthy are how healthy do they look how loved do they look and uh, I mean, that's only fair. That's only fair to make that initial judgment based on, you know. So yeah, of course, of course, you're gonna take care of the animal first, just like you would your kids. And um, what do you miss the most about a normal life? Oh man. Um, well, <laughs> our normal life was um, up in Sedona not too long ago, and it was, you know getting to take them for walks basically not the walk being life <laughs> life is one big walk for us now but um no getting to take them for a walk by the creek you know and just like off leash you know um basically just the normal life you know getting to, <laughs> to where uh, uh walking is is a is more of a uh a, um, a leisurely thing instead of life <laughs> as, as a whole. <laughs> when were you in Sedona? Um, between uh, 2018 and 2021, I was in Sedona. Were you you had a normal life, or you were yeah, out in the oh streets? Yeah, yeah. No, I was working, um, working full time. Uh, had my own apartment, and then upgraded to a bigger apartment. But that just proved to be a little bit outside of my uh, my doing, and that's I uh, lost that that apartment or that house and uh that's what kind of started the downward but um yeah just got a, a little bit eyes got too big for my budget and um that's how that happened i was in sedona about a month ago and uh i saw a couple homeless people yeah so it's even up there in beautiful sedona you know yeah i mean it's kind of a different it's a different uh, uh dynamic up there per se but um yeah, I mean it's everywhere. If you look, if you look hard enough, homelessness is everywhere. I mean, because it it just happens, you know. But it's a matter of what kind of resources are available for those people and whether they want to uh, um, utilize those resources. So. Absolutely, Don. So, um, what advice do you have, Don, for? any youth out there any any people that are struggling they have a normal life today and uh somebody offers them h somebody offers them blues because that's usually what people tell me i had it all but i said yes to this or that and i ended up losing everything and i'm here here i am 
honestly, my biggest thing that I could, um, my biggest advice that I could give to any youngster is, don't be mad at your parents. Okay? <laughs> don't be pissed at your parents because they did it. They tried their best. They did the best that they could. They were new at it too. You know, they were trying to be the best parent they could. Don't waste time being angry at your folks. You're gonna waste a lot of time, and you'll only live to regret it. Because I did, and. That's what generally pushes you into use and stuff like that, is being angry at your parents. Being too angry at your parents. Don't be angry at your parents, because I'll tell you right now, they're doing the best that they can and the best that they know how. Appreciate them for that. And don't waste time being angry, because you will regret it. You're being the best parent that you can to your three children here, right? As much as I can, yeah. If somebody out there watches this and wants to get some food for the your doggies, do you have a cash app? I do. I do. Um, my cash app is all uppercase bash and then all lowercase bash 911. Got it. So if anybody wants to help out and uh, get some dog food for these cute little doggies, uh, bash bash 911, right? Yep. Cash symbol before, of course, you know. Got it. Okay, Don. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you sharing your story. I'll go get you some uh, something to drink. Maybe I'm going to give you my card thing. with my number in case somebody wants to offer you a job or anything. Absolutely. Uh, we'll stay in touch, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. God bless, man. Thank you.